So you have a bar and a customer. Imagine that the bar is the woman and the customer is the man. So basically what happens here is that the customer comes into the bar, he enjoys his time, right? Then he leaves and then the next day he wants to come back because he enjoyed his time in the bar, right? So okay, this happens multiple times and then after a few months maybe let's say the guy starts loving the bar, right? The customer. And since he loves the bar, he goes there every day, he wants to spend a lot of time there enjoying it. But over time, you know, he just kind of... He keeps doing it, going to the bar, even though he doesn't enjoy the bar as much anymore. And the bar, of course, doesn't have only one customer, because that wouldn't really be effective, that wouldn't be a reliable income and the bar wa wants more income. So the bar has many customers, about which the one customer doesn't... I mean, he might see the few customers that are orbiting around the bar, that they are there, but the customer doesn't know that the other customers enjoy their time in the bar so much as he does. What does this mean? Well, basically, there are many customers in one bar that are enjoying their time, you know. just you must you must expect it even though you might not know about it and well this is why you can't really or you shouldn't probably hate women you know it kind of makes sense what they do it's just like a bar it's you know they are keeping up the economy they are trying to keep a reliable income but the point is that <laughs> this is where the fun part comes because after a while, you know, this keeps happening and let's say that the customer and the bartender will have a kid, right? And then the customer doesn't want to go to the bar anymore, he doesn't love the bar anymore, he, you know, he, he's more mad about it and stuff because of the kid and all that. And after some time, he stops going to the bar, of course, but the kid is there, you know. So the same income or even more, he still has to pay to the bar. And now the bar has the income, doesn't have the customer, so doesn't have to work on the customer, still gets the money. A and this is like the biggest fun part, because the bar doesn't have to do shit now and just takes the money, right? And so wh what can the customer do to not fall into this trap? Well, first thing which would work is probably go into multiple bars, so don't, don't go to the same bar every day. Or try to not go to the bar every day, that's also a good note. But it's very important not to go to the same bar because, you know, then you get too used to the bar and you don't want to uh, let go of the bar, of course. Um, also, sometimes it's good to maybe take a break from, you know, enjoying your time in the bar, bar and maybe get a new hobby, do something else, go shooting or something, it doesn't matter. Just don't go to the bar every time and or every day limited you know have some limit there maybe go to the bar only during the weekends right be a good customer don't just you know go in there enjoy your time and just leave you should also like try to how would i say it use your brain when you go there you know but don't just go there and enjoy your time because you know it I mean, it's good if you just go, enjoy your time, but then you have to leave. That, that's the part where you use your brain. You can't go there, enjoy your time and stay there because th that's that's just not good, you know. Th then you get used to it, you're like, you're comfortable there, why would you leave and all that shit. And then what might happen, like, it, it happens a few times. It really depends on the bar, some bars are more, um, how would I say it, uh, <laughs> popular. Uh, because in some bars, you go to some bars and there they have parties, right? And that's when there are multiple customers at once and they enjoy their times together. Um, very interesting, but what is more usual is that these bars uh, and the customers enjoy their times, but it's not all at the same time. And when you think about this, what I've just, you know, said about this whole idea, th this just explains the whole, like, relationships between men and women when we think about bar as women and the customers as the man so yeah um first thing I, I don't want you know i don't think men should hate women i think that 
men should understand women and try not to fall into their traps so maybe I hope that this I, I try to explain it really easily so I hope that this opens your eyes and yeah don't drink too much <laughs>